being now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Synergy Traders number 32, uh, Vixen News Trading. Uh, Synergy Traders is, is hosted by myself, David Cosmeter of TimingResearch.com and Anka Metcalf of TradeOutloud.com. So uh, for this event, we've arranged 16 great presentations for you. And uh, please remember that uh, all trading and investing involves risks. And um, uh, please only use uh, risk capital and consult your uh, financial advisor before you do any trading or investing. Um, so, uh, and uh, the full uh, disclaimer in terms is available on timingresearch.com. And uh, so today we have uh, arranged for Norman Hallett to be the opening presentation. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to him. Thank you, David. And thank you, Anka, for having me. Uh, you know, I watch uh, American Idol, America's Got Talent and The Voice. And um, I'm convinced that they always put somebody really good right in the beginning. Usually it doesn't win, they, they save that for the last person. Uh, so I'm hoping that that's your approach to this and that you, you think that what I'm about to do is, is going to be a, a really good presentation. So I appreciate you starting. Yes, you're, you're, you're our favorite opening act. Well, I appreciate that. Well, you know, they always put me first also on the uh, training expo because <laughs> I, I run around the stage and uh, uh, I, I think I, I kind of get people going and I'm going to get everybody going here. My name is Norman Hallett. I'm here to, um, to help out with, um, with a series of presentations. Um, I mean, I, I just took a look at uh, just discussing with David uh, before we uh, started officially here that the, there are a number of people that are new to uh, these kinds of presentations. So my, my suggestion is that if you're into trading on the news and, uh, uh, and volatility with the VIX and so on, you're watching those things as opportunities for you, I suggest that you um, that, that you stick around as much as you can, or at least review some of the traders and kind of uh, pick it out on your calendar because uh, uh, there's a lot of good stuff here. Um, I'm, um, I'm, I've, my background is primarily, uh, I started with Payne Weber and um, I'll give you more of it. In fact, let's go to that slide right now because um, let me say upfront that if I happen to blurt out a, a recommendation of some sort, it's really for educational purposes only. And that if you put your money behind anything that I say, uh, it's only because you should have done your own homework before you, uh, before you did so. So, um, and, uh, I, I guess I need to say past performance is not a indicative of future results. So, because maybe I've been successful in the uh, past and in the present doesn't mean that um, that your performance will be the same. Okay, um, I have 30, I actually have more than 39 years experience, but I always keep it at 39 because it makes me sound old. That picture, uh, I do have a little gray on the side, but that picture is, is about, um, is about, oh, four or five years old. So uh, I've written several books. These are the ones I think that are still on Amazon. Uh, I did spend time with Payne Weber. That's where I got my experience with uh, things like uh, IPOs, which uh, can be attractive to those that trade on news. And, um, and the problem with IPOs is that you never get to do them because only the big money gets to do them. And I may tell you a little bit about that later if we have time. But um, Payne Weber is, is where I saw a lot of uh, people trading on the news as a broker. I was a broker where before you were able to do it on the internet, where you were barraged with phone calls, people telling me where to buy and sell for them. Uh, this was back in the uh, 80s and 90s. Um, the International Trading Group was actually before Payne Weber. I, um, that's one of the largest option firms in the country at the time. So I learned all about approaching um, news events based on using options. And, and that's one thing that I would do. I don't know if Jim is presenting, uh, if you see the op option professor, um, he's going to, um, he, I'm sure he's going to tell you about some of the approaches that you can use with options. It's a very good tool for, uh, for approaching news um, opportunities. Uh, the Hallett Group is something that I formed when I left the big entities started on my own in the early 90s. Um, this was where I was managing millions for 
rich people, um, not necessarily rich people, but accounts 250,000 and more. And um, I was a commodity trading advisor and uh, cleared through my own IB, the uh, Hallett Commodities. But my real passion over the last really 15, almost 20 years now has been helping traders with the mental and emotional issues of trading um, at the Disciplined Trader. So uh, I've got a pretty rounded background and a lot of experience with what happens to traders and what happens to positions and equities and premiums and options and so on when, uh, when a piece of news comes out, you know, how to prepare. And, and you'll be hearing again a lot about that uh, over the course of the day. Um, but I have one question to ask you, and this is really the only question that I'll be asking you for feedback. What do you believe, so, so that I can direct this in the right way, what, what do you believe is the most important skill for trading against reports? Now, I'm including VIX, and a lot of you use VIX as an indicator for setting stops and, and, and um, for the more creative traders. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure they, when David talked about VIX and, and um, as a measure of volatility, of course, uh, alongside of the idea of, of volatility being in, in trading against the news. I mean, it's one of the most highly volatile things you can do. You're ready to expect the unexpected by design. So if I can just get some of your feedback there, you know, we're a little light on the people this morning. I'm the first presenter, but I, I would like to hear at least a couple of people who could tell me um, what they believe is the most important skill. Uh, and I will then tell you what I think, but I just need the feedback just from a couple of you if that is possible. I will wait and see. Uh, good morning to you. That's Kurt, I appreciate, <laughs> appreciate that. Um, one skill would be what? Somebody give me a thing. A, I need to know that you're there. One skill. Okay, focus. Well, that could be a skill. Um, and that would actually be an excellent skill. You know, that may actually be number two um, because uh, it really is part of the correct answer when you're looking at the most important skill. And the most important skill, as far as I'm concerned, is the mental and emotional control when you trade. Because if you're not trading with mental and emotional control, uh, and if you're not prepared before a, a, a piece of news comes out, then you're not going to be, if you're not prepared to act when that news comes out. Now, acting could be a lot of preparation. For instance, when generally in options, you're setting your positions and a lot of people who, uh, who are going to trade uh, put their um, put stops above and stops below and cancel one if the other one hits and puts in limits and you know based on the volatility they expect. Um, all of that is important, but all of that has to be decided before you start uh, trading against the report. So it's the mental and emotional control that is the key. And again, I have I've seen uh, fellow brokers in Payne Weber and others that I've coached individual traders over the years. And the most important skill is that mental and emotional control. Okay, uh, this is, I, I just threw a chart in. I was looking for reports from last, there weren't, wasn't a lot against reports last week, but I think producer prices came out. I think this was a Wednesday. This was when the market, uh, when, this was the response of the market. This candle right here, this is a 10 minute candle. And you can see what happened here. Let, let me, Zoom in on it a little bit. Okay, here's here's exactly what happened. The market. Now this candle ended lower, so the first tick must have been right here, at the bottom uh, of this green candle. The market apparently went up, went either either went down and went way up. This is a from here to the the, the second uh, ten minute candle over a twenty minute period. Uh, this was a span up and down ac across the midline of about 22 uh, S&P points. This is an S&P chart. So uh, there's a lot that went on here. And unless you're prepared, this is, this is actually a very calm um, response. There's gonna be a, a little bit more noise today when the Fed uh, comes out with, uh, with, with their opinions on 
uh, on on tightening or or lessening uh, or not tightening. Or, I forgot the word they're using now. Uh, but the idea is that uh, if they start that gradual tightening from here, uh, then you're going to, uh, you know, depending on, on how they word things, and you're going to see this kind of volatility as they interpret what the, what the report is going to say. But here are the possible issues that come up when, uh, when these uh, emotional situations come up. Uh, these, these are the things that reside in your subconscious mind. And, and I, I took a poll. This poll was actually taken about uh, two months ago. It's the most recent poll that I, I take it every once in a while just to keep, uh, keep on top of things, maybe every six months. Uh, this particular one was, um, you see the percentages there, um, lack of confidence, patience, fear of losing, hesitation to pull the trigger trouble overcoming losses and greed. These are all areas that can surface right before the piece of news comes out. And um, you know you can dance around uh, believing that you're in control and you may very well be up to the point of when, that, when the marker hits 8.30 or 10 in the morning Eastern time, whenever the report comes out or two o'clock, um, but when that buzzer hits, this is where the, whatever your dominant subconscious feature is, this is where it's going to be exposed. I can, I can tell whether somebody is a control trader or not a control trader, not by what they tell me and, and profess what they've done in the past, but what they're doing right now. And uh, because the conscious mind is something that discusses things and makes plans for things. The subconscious mind is the part of the mind that makes decisions. And um, these areas, and you can see how all of them are, uh, when I, the, the, this was the answer to the, this poll was the answer to the question, uh, what's your most predominant, what's the, the primary issue uh, that you'd like to take care of when you think about yourself improving um, your mental and emotional capabilities. And you can see that, that, that the, 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 the top four are uh, very equal. And, uh, and even the bottom two have, you know, are, are, are within the uh, statistical realm of importance. And, uh, but but what, what you may not realize is that they're all intertwined. The, the lack of confidence um, is really a function of your feeling uh, about your, your extent of your, your fear of losing because of past losses and your hesitation to pull the trigger is, is, is partly or wholly in some cases um, wrapped up in the fear of losing so that you hesitate to pull the trigger. Uh, th there are layers in uh, that we're dealing with. And when we work with, with clients, uh, traders to uncover these layers, it's kind of like an, it's kind of like an onion. This is, this is an, this is an actual photograph. Now, this is not an actual photograph. This is, I call this person onion man because, and it could be an onion woman, but, um, but it's an onion person. And th these are, this is really a better picture of what goes on as far as your subconscious mind is concerned. You may have one layer hesitation to pull the trigger. That may be obvious to you. Uh, in other words, the report is coming, you understand what's going on, and the report comes out and you, you don't see much movement. It starts to kind of volley between higher and lower um, from the moment of the report. You, you started, now, you, you may have had a preconditioned thought of where you thought it was going to go. You may take your position there, uh, but that would not be according to your trading plan more than not. But you may hesitate to pull the trigger on, a, on your initial move because it pops right back up and you're not following your trading plan. So this hesitation is something that you need to clear. And that, that may uncover a more specific and deeper subconscious situation, and that's the fear of losing, uh, and and that is uh, that is very prevalent with traders, especially new traders, who um, who have um, 
especially new traders, believe it or not, who have early success, they, they tend to believe that they're bulletproof and then, and maybe this has happened to you. And then um, after a, a few losses in a row, they realize that maybe they were just lucky and this thing may not. And, and all of a sudden, I mean, the lowest point is where you start saying to yourself, maybe I really shouldn't even be doing this. So all of these levels of fears are connected. Lack of patience is something that a, uh, and I, I threw that in here and it's very important because lack of patience is something that um, that somebody who trades the news needs to have. You need to have the patience to wait for the market to mature, especially if your trading plan is not one where you, or all your orders are, are pre-prepared um, above and below the market before the report comes out. Uh, a lot of trading, a lot of good trading plans are responsive to what happens, and, and you have to be patient to let um, whip. I call this trading uh, this uh, this 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 um, presentation whipsaw because at least half of, of the reports that come out are going to experience whipsaw, where you, where you have an initial reaction followed by a move, a strong move in the other direction because the initial move was not as strong as expected on that news. So why with this strong piece of news, why didn't it move on the upside? Oh my gosh, there must be something else happening and the market starts selling off based on news that you would normally think the market would go higher. So there are, you need to have patience in order to follow your process. So, um, you know, that's just, that's just very important. Um, I see a question here, when you have mindset that money you, you use is just a tool to generate profits, win loss to lose it all. I'm not sure what that means. You have mindset, you have, when you have mindset that money you use is just a tool to generate profits or win or lose, you know, I mean, look, we're in this to make money. I mean, uh, we can we can define it <laughs> the way we want, but but yes, I mean, the process is the trading plan, and and uh, that's the process you're going to use to make money. And hopefully, you've back tested and forward tested the, the, the plan and, and that you have the confidence. Once you get into the plan, it's up to you to, assure, to do the things to follow that plan. Now, if you do have a series of my numbers, five or six losses in a row, that means that maybe you need, you need to step back and, and really take another look. Just as a, a tip, I might as well give you the tip right now. Uh, one of the tips that I use uh, to follow my trading plan is to look back. I look back every, every day before I start trading. I look back on the last five days of trading. Uh, I'm a day trader, so I'm, I'm trading <clears throat> intraday. And I look back, on, if I'm trading primarily from a 10 minute chart, I'll look back at the last five days and see how my trading plan would have performed in those last five days. And there'll be parts where the, there's two or three losses in a row and there'll be parts where there are huge big gains in that area. But I'll realize that over the course of time, over the last five days, if I just follow my trading plan, it's going to work. So that review on a daily basis sets me up for uh, for having um, having confidence to run my trading plan on that day. So that, that's a tip that that I thought that I would give you because it's worked for me for uh, a decade or two. Um, trouble overcoming losses is another layer that, that's a different that's a deeper layer than uh, fear of losing is one thing. Uh, but if if you have trouble overcoming the losses, that will lead to the fear of losing. Okay, because that that negativity is accumulating. Lack of confidence is something that is um, is part and parcel as a result to all of these uh, things that we're talking about here. Okay, so lack of confidence. So uh, what I'm what I'm trying to say, and of course, fear of missing out is something that is a very big factor when it comes to uh, trading against news. So uh, I think if you look back and, and you realize that um, you have not had the success that you should have uh, trading against news, then um, you, you may want to, uh, then you really should approach your, your mental and emotional approach or your approach to making sure that your mental and emotional well-being is, uh, is set and ready to go. Okay, um, because the strong, you get stronger and stronger with each step, each time you, you, you expose and neutralize one of these layers, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, then um, you're going to take one more step toward the, what you want, and that's to be a totally 
disciplined trader. Now, the market out there is is, is always, whether you're listening to Jim Cramer or the talk, any, any of the talking heads, they're always constantly trying to get you to believe what they say and, and in, a, in a sense, pulling off your trading plan. So it's important that you, that you uh, try to uh, minimize that kind of input, especially while you're trading. Here's probably the most important, uh, there are two really important uh, pictures that I'm going to show you. This is an actual photograph, a micro photograph, I forgot what they call that, a micro with a micro te micron telescope, I don't know what they, you, you gotta get pretty deep to see this. This, this is your, really your subconscious mind in action. These tendrils, these thin lines that are leading to this bulb in the middle, this, this, uh, uh, this mass, all these, these, this is, these are, it really is, thought, thought is energy. Thought is energy, and these are what they call neural pathways. These are neural pathways, and they carry your thought, meaning that when you, when you say to yourself, when you have a conscious thought, or when you have a, a, a conscious thought that leads to a subconscious thought, what happens is it creates a neural pathway with that message, okay? If you say to yourself, boy, I've just lost in the last two trades, I better be a little bit careful. I hope my trading plan is still working. Well, that message is being carried by one of these neural pathways. And this thick one here may have been when you were highly emotional uh, because the function of these, the, the strength of these neural pathways are, are based on not only the thought, but, but the intention behind the thought. And so, uh, you know, that's why a shocking, something that happens and shocks you, uh, you know, as a child or whatever, as a trader, whatever happens in your life, sometimes it's very hard to get over. I'm going to explain why that is. So you have all these neural pathways. Now, one thought may be, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a capable trader and I'm, I'm, I'm good with it, you know. So you're feeding your mind with, with positive and negative thoughts. Uh, when you're experiencing uh, poor trading results, you tend to have poor trading th thoughts if you're not trained, if you're not aware that you need to be feeding your mind with positive thoughts, okay? And that when you have a negative thought, you need to immediately respond to that with saying, well, that's not true because I know that if I follow my trading plan over time, I'm going to win. So, as you let's just say that you you have a you you're making these negative thoughts. If you have enough of these negative thoughts, you're going to build a neural net. So neural enough neural pathways build a neural net. This neural net is what re, is what re, is responsible for your response to a stimulus. So if 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 the news comes out and you're and you're waiting for the trade. Your trading plan may tell you to do something, but you may be hesitant to take that trade because the last time you traded against the news, you lost or you missed the trade or you, you hesitated and you're, you know, should, what should you do? And, and, and so that has it. And that is because this neural net is, is responsible for the, for the trade, for the response to the trigger. So that when your trading plan tells you to take a trade, you're going to either take the trade with confidence or you're going to hesitate to take the trade based on your predominant neural net. Now, there's a neural net out there that's a positive one out there for the same stimulus, but it's, it's smaller and less powerful than the, than the law. So, so your most predominant neural net against a particular um, uh, stimulus is the is the way you're going to respond. So I can tell, uh, and and you can tell by the way you're responding. What is your dominant neural net? And this is your subconscious mind. Now, the way you build neural nets, uh, the way you build the proper neural net is to, of course, feed your mind with neural pathways, creating thoughts and and, and uh, neural and therefore neural pathways, energy pathways to build a stronger neural net that will serve you, one that will take a trade 
with confidence, one that believes that you belong as a trader, one that ha has you understand that, that, that losing trades in the past are only the pathway to winning trades. OK, and the way you do that, the easiest way to do that is to get into a simple type meditative state, meaning and I'm not talking about sitting in the lotus position uh, under a tree, although that, that's a pretty good way to do it. I'm talking about sitting in your chair in front of your computer before you start trading and taking a few deep breaths in and out, closing your eyes and listening to either your own suggestions or, you know, we have we have uh, suggestions that we know that. Uh, that build the, the right neural pathways uh, that we've designed over. That, that's what we're experts in. But you can learn to do it on your own. Um, and 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 so the, the the important thing. Is, so if you sit there in front of your computer for just seven or eight minutes, not a long time, take a few deep breaths and play back to yourself a recording that says things like, "I understand that losing trades are a pathway to winning trades," uh, and I understand that that losing trades are only a part of winning. It's part of the winning formula. So I accept winning trades as much as I accept losing trades. And here's my favorite line. I'm a wise and disciplined trader, and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. So, you know, if you, st if you just sit in one space, you sit in your chair, take a few deep breaths, and commit to listening to this kind of neural pathway input, you, it doesn't take long to build a dominant neural net. And the more specific you are with your suggestions, the more specific that neural net will be. And uh, so that you can create something specific to one of those onion layers. If you have, uh, if you're, have a problem with patience and you, you seem to want to jump the gun, you'll, you like to get in before the moving averages cross because you, you want to get that extra few ticks in there and um, and, and even have a shorter risk, but it winds up to be the opposite, as you know, uh, most of the time, a lot of the time. So it's, you need to follow your trading plan. So if patience is a problem, you can have suggestions like, I'm a patient trader. I always wait for my confirming indicators to signal me when I trade. I do not, I, I always trade upon my, uh, upon my trading plans telling me to take the signal. I'm a wise and disciplined trader, and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. So the more specific you are with the suggestion, and actually my wife, who is the, um, the creative director of, the, of, of our firm, she is the subconscious uh, expert, and she's been doing it for uh, as long as I've been trading. She's the one that turned me around 20 years ago when I was blowing accounts out. So you need to, um, I, I, you don't need to do anything. I'd like you to. <laughs> respect this science, okay, because this is science, okay? Now, if you're going to self-create a guided meditation, you need to keep your suggestions in the present tense, okay? Things like, I take my trades without hesitation when my trading plan signals me to, okay? It's not, I'm, I am going to, okay? I take, as right now, present tense, I take my trades without hesitation when my trading plan signals me to. Okay, the other tip that I'll give you, I, I can't really tell you everything, but I think if you look it up and study this a little bit, I'm giving you the two major points um, that, uh, that, that I have found important. Um, and, and that is using positive phrasing. I confidently move my stop to preserve a profit. OK, if you find that you're you're not using your trailing stops because somehow in the middle of the day you want to give the market room, uh, then and, and you're not using your you're not moving your stop the way you should. This is a this is a nice this is a nice suggestion. Get into a, take a few deep breaths. I confidently move my stop to preserve a profit. I take my trades without hesitation when my trading plan signals me to. I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. Do you get me? Do you feel me on this? Just give me a, a hey too. Just let me know that you're there. Right? Do you feel me on what I'm telling you? I got something else for you here. The other part of what you can, what you can do on your own that, that we do in our coaching that you can, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of giving you some do-it-yourself things. Okay, great. Um, and here, here's the other, um, it, it's called EFT. It's called emotional freedom technique. Uh, it's been called, I, I'm not going to get into the history of it other than to say that it works. And it's a combination of, um, of Eastern and Western philosophies. It's, it's uh, the, the latest term is, is um, 
ta the tapping solution. And what it is, is the emotional freedom technique, uh, again, combines Eastern and Western. The, the Eastern philosophy is that you have these meridians, and these are some of the meridians, these red line, these red spots. And these are energy meridians. And, and Eastern philosophy believes that when these energy um, meridians are blocked and the energy doesn't flow, that causes a backup and that causes problems. Every part of your body is connected to your brain. Um, you know, that's where reflexology comes from. Uh, there, are, there are points on, in your feet, actually, and your hands and your ears that connect to the organs of your body, your mind, and so on. So um, I'm not going to get into it other than to say um, the majority of the world's population has been using Eastern philosophy and not Western philosophy to stay healthy all these years. And, um, you know, the longest living people in the world are come from the East, not, not from the West. And so I'm, I, I think you got to give it some credence if, if, you, if, if, you're, if you have enough uh, uh, up to this point. So um, you got to give it some credibility. So uh, these are points and, and the Western part in, the, in this combination is if you, if you tap with your fingertips where, the, where, where, where there is a particular energy, I won't, won't explain exactly the, the science, but this again is science. And when I make a presentation on EFT specifically, I actually show you the scientific proof where they take 800 people and they, uh, they control groups, so on and so forth. But I'm, I'm giving you the results here. And what it is, if you, if you tap these, pre these meridian points with your fingers, okay, um, and at the same time, say these positive intentional phrases, some, some of which I've kind of shown you, but they're a little bit different when it comes to EFT. There's a million, um, the, the, there's a million YouTube videos on this. Um, and, and so, um, you know, look for uh, Ortner, Ortner, O-R-T-N-O-R, -O -R -R, uh, Ortner is, is the leading guy. He's very good at this. So if you're, you'll see a lot of people doing it on their own. Start with him first if you're going to take a look at this. And um, you're going to, um, you, tap in a, you tap these points in a series. First, first you're between the eyebrows, then under the eyes, then the side of the head, then the collarbone, then under the arm, then the top of the head. You do it in a series and say these certain things out loud, these particular statements. And what it does is it separates the thought from emotion. It actually, those, those neural pathways that we were talking about, it, dis, it separates, it disassociates, the, it takes away the energy. In other words, it, it allows the free flow so that, it, so that, you're, so that the blockage is, is no longer there. And, and, and so that when you're blocked in a, in a thought and energy are related. You can't have a thought without having an emotion around it, thought and emotion. If you can separate thought and emotion, then you can, you can clear the way to creating neural pathways like we're talking about. And that's what this does. So we use it in a combination when we work, work with traders. First, we separate the thought from the emotion. Then we go in and have them work with our subconscious trainings and build those neural pathways that, I'll, um, that, that I showed you before. Now, I, I, I won't say anything more about this except for the emotional freedom technique is proven. And in fact, the proof is, is in the pudding. It is the number one go-to therapy for soldiers coming back from, from, uh, from war for, for post-traumatic stress disorder, the number one go-to therapy. So uh, listen, I'm not comparing the trauma of war with the trauma of taking big losses or whatever, but, but is it, it is a trauma, taking losses, is a trauma and you can disassociate the thought from the emotion by using EFT, okay? So um, I'm giving you two uh, ways of doing it here and, and ways to go ahead and, and research this and, and make a plan for yourself, okay? Remember thought, you wanna separate the thought from emotion using the emotional freedom technique and then go ahead and build, incidentally, this EFT, you can do this literally in, this whole tapping procedure and, and, and speech procedure while you're tapping uh, doesn't take five, takes about five or 10, five or six minutes. That's it. And if you don't get your emotion from a 10 down to a, 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 a one or a two, you do the sequence again. So maybe it'll take you 10 minutes. But this is a very effective 
an immediate way to uh, so before you uh, before you go into trading a report, if you found that you have particular issues that you'd like to get rid of, at least in that moment, I, I would suggest using EFT. But from a long term standpoint, uh, you as a total trader, uh, use it and then build the dominant neural nets as we have described with the suggestions that I've I've tried I've tried to give you there, and that's going to equal what you want, and that's going to equal the ten percent of traders who actually win. 90% of traders lose, and I, I have a whole presentation on that as a fact. Uh, it is a fact, and, and that presentation proved, includes proof. Uh, one huge study from, from the North America, another one from Europe, another one from South America. All over the traders all over the world are getting killed, and, and uh, only 10% are winning. And it's those that concentrate on keeping their mental and emotional skills and capabilities in the forefront of their trading. You need two things to win, a, trade, a good trading plan and, a, and, and the mental and emotional capabilities to run that plan. So you can do this yourself. You can do it yourself. But there's a, so, so really there's two roads that you go down and, and neither of these roads are the um, preferred road uh, for some. It, it, there's no wrong decision here. The left road is what we've been talking about, doing it by yourself and, uh, and using some of the systems that I talked about, subconscious mind, training your subconscious mind and using EFT, EFT to separate the emotion from the thought, subconscious mind to build the neural pathways, learn how to do it, um, make your own statements, um, work with them if they adjust the statements, if you're not getting the results that you want. But that's a road that's going to succeed for you in the long term. But there's a road on the right, and that road is, is adding a, two things. One is the experience of, of, of my wife and myself who have helped, um, I'm going to say thousands, hasn't been thousands, but thousand plus traders in our coaching uh, over the past 20 years, you, utilizing, the road is utilizing what we've learned works for traders and, and just starting there without the experimentation. It's the fast road, it's the high speed road, it's the, it's the, high, it's the high speed train. Um, that's the road on the right. At, plus it has an element that is, I believe can be essential to some traders uh, where the road on the left may not work. It will work for most traders in the long term, but for some it will not, and that's accountability. If you're accountable to do your trainings, and to make the change, and you're accountable to it, it's going to happen, okay? Uh, and, and that's the road that I would like to explain to you right now, okay? If I offered you a much faster way to success, would you be interested in taking a look at that? I'm going to just see if I, apparently some of you are. Okay, let me, what if I offer you unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions for a full year, unlimited. You get on Zoom, I'm in one box, Tish is in another, my wife Tish is in another box, you're in the other box. What we wanna learn about you as a trader and we, we will identify a game plan of working with your most predominant issue first, whether that's patience or, or um, um, fear of losing out, of, of, of losing out uh, or fear, uh, whatever, whatever it is, um, hesitation to pull the trigger. We work with that first. We start uncovering the layers, and you're accountable to do the homework, which is the meditations that we give you. They're, they're seven to ten minutes long that you do in your chair before you start trading, and th that's the kind of homework I'm talking about. And I'm talking about tough stuff. Okay, I'm not asking you to, uh, to to do much of anything other than feed your mind with proper um, uh, the, the proper mental food, okay? We call it laser coaching and it's personalized mental and emotional management for traders. They're 15 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. And I say one-on-one -on -one, uh, because uh, depending on what, what would decide to work on in the next session, um, then um, I may be there. I'm usually there with Tish in the beginning. Um, sometimes you're working with just, we know what we want to do, working on that second layer for the next time. And Tisha, it'll just be you and Tisha, but generally it's two on one. 
Uh, the first meeting is about 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, where we learn a little bit about you, your trading history, some of the things we ask you, the kind of questions to uncover your own truths. Because sometimes we find that traders um, are not, don't really understand their own truth because you know your your subconscious mind is very good at protecting what it anything in the subconscious mind it's true for you it's it's true for you and so it defends that and uh until you can build a neural pathway neural net that's that's superior to the one that you're working on sometimes it's hard to uncover your real truth as your as your your conscious mind subconscious mind is defending you as to look good. Anyway, we uncover in that first 30 minute session who you are and what you need. We lay out a plan and then we get to work right there. And you have as many, you, you're given our calendar and our calendar is a, uh, where you can just make your next appointment on, um, I see somebody says subconscious mind is a doubtful. Well, you should really should consider this. This is your answer. It's been an answer for thousands and nobody does what we do. Nobody does this. Nobody gives you unlimited coaching because really what happens here is that we pretty much solve your problems over the first few months if not the first month and the the and, this, and, and the frequency of sessions becomes spread out and we become somebody that's there for us if you need us and so this is but, but we we want you to know that we're there for you at any time if there's a trading emergency so whatever it is we're going to be there for you okay so we isolate you Predominant, predominant behavioral issue first to eliminate. Then we prioritize them in the order of importance. Okay, here is what what looks like. I think Tisha looks like she's about to tap her collarbone. Here, this is Chris. Uh, he's somebody that we've trained uh, last year. Now we only offer this once, sometimes twice a year. But we, we, we just I just did this to my list, and if, you know I decided to expand it for this. Uh, you know, we've got a few spots we can always make room for. And I decided for David, I would I would open this up for everybody um, because th this is not for this is somebody who really. Is tired of losing, <laughs> is tired of losing and being their own worst enemy, because you're not going to find the solution if you don't look inside. OK, so here's a, it's a smiling face, but I just wanted to show you we do it on Zoom. OK. With unlimited sessions, you get timely and immediate support. I mean, when you're looking, we do group coaching too from time to time. We haven't done it in a while because we've lowered the price of, of laser coaching for this round. And therefore, what used to be group coaching, now we can work one-on-one -on -one with traders. We, the unlimited session gives you, you don't have to wait a week or a month for your next, wait for, for the next meeting, the schedule. There's no schedule. It's your schedule. You, you, you just get on the calendar and you schedule your 15 minute meeting. And again, it's focused. We're not going to ask you, we may ask you how you're, if you're okay with COVID or if your wife is okay, or your husband's okay, or your dog is fine, but we're not going to take any time there because you, we have 15 minutes. This is the way, this is the way we can do it. We know what we're doing. We know the, we know the issues and we can uncover them quickly. We know the questions to ask. And that's what we're there for. We're there to work, make you accountable. Okay. And the laser closer, it gives you fast results. For your most pressing issues first, leaving plenty of time to work on other issues that are holding you back while developing positive habits to replace your former destructive habits. So again, probably go in there and use the EFT. That's what we've been doing mostly in the beginning. And then follow immediately with building the right neural pathways with some of the uh, trademark uh, uh, meditations that we've been using for years. We give you access to all of that. It's delivered to you on our online meeting platform. Just showed you and you can, uh, you can use Zoom on, on anything. But so here's the, the program, an unlimited 15 minute uh, sessions for a year. Each coaching session, you receive the recording, okay? Uh, sometimes when we'll do an EFT session, we have standardized EFT sessions for specific things. And I'm gonna show you, that's a bonus that we're gonna include here. But we also, um, we also have, we also will, every trader is a little bit specific. Sometimes a trader likes to talk in a certain way or phrases certain things. And if you, if we, we, we discover that right off the bat, and then we phrase your, your statements to you, the, when we, when we do the tapping and we do the, we may make a specific meditation for you. Um, and what we'll do that based on the way you like to receive information or the way you you, you phrase things. So we do that often in, in these sessions, and then we'll send you the recording of it. So you'll have your own literally personalized session besides the standard ones that we may 
uh, you know, if it's a general issue, we may send you the standard one. Otherwise, we'll do a specific recording for you. Uh, so after each coaching session, you'll receive the recording. You'll take your session. You'll do your assignment. Again, your assignment is, you know, listen to the subconscious training seven minutes every day before you start trading for a week. And if that doesn't solve the issue, make another appointment. We'll work on it again. We'll see what's going on. But, you know, it usually will. And again, I mentioned that the first session is 30 minutes long. And here's your guarantee. If after your first 30 minute of the coach, if that 30 minute session, you want to take it, um, you know, soon after you join so that we can get going. If you don't believe that this program is for you, we'll happily and immediately refund your money. You're going to see <laughs> right from the beginning that there's nobody that does what we do. And you'll feel the effect and the power of what we do in our first meeting. So, um, I think you're going to, you know, but again, we're not here to sell you anything you don't want. Uh, if this sounds great to you, just grab it. Have the 30 minute session with us. And then I think you're going to see real quickly, you're going to want to stick around, especially for the price I'm about to show you. Okay, the bonus. Um, and, and I'm going to go through this quickly because there's one, one other thing I wanted to mention to you. The Discipline Trader Mastery Program for one year. This is, this is uh, kind of our do-it-yourself program that we, we made our reputation on before we started the, the real fast track and making traders accountable. Uh, this is where a, a lot of our standard subconscious trainings hang out. There's a basic series where um, we were getting traders disciplined to follow their trading plan, but they had lousy trading plans. And even though we're not, we do have something called simple trading plans that we offer trading plans, but our basic thrust is in the mental and emotional capabilities. And, and so this was a series of four webinars that I did with experts in their field on how to build a trading plan, how to, how to use money, uh, um, money management and, and, uh, and risk management, journaling, and running your trading as a business. So that's the basic series. The core modules is, is I'm going to show you one of those in a second. It's where the subconscious trainings, the meditations hang out. Uh, there's a lifestyle section with meditations for par all other parts of your life. What, what I, when traders turn around their trading habits from detrimental to positive and working for them as traders, the common question through the years has been, do you have anything for the other parts of our life? Well, we do, because when we started the company 20 years ago, uh, we made meditations for golfers, tennis players, students, salespeople, and some of that is still available. We still sell some. It used to be in CD form, but we give you pretty much all of those meditations in another section in this in the mastery program. So it's kind of like a gift. I don't want you to use this up front, you know, unless you have critical needs, um, like your golf game really stinks, and you can you can go ahead and, and use that with the yips. But I'm saying that that use the meditations in the core module first, but I'm saying that this is a section with almost a hundred different meditations uh, that you'll really enjoy. And the four minute drills, there's two, over 200 of these. This is what put me on the map, um, uh, what really exploded what we do. And, and so that we can offer things like our, um, our, our laser coaching. Four minute drill is just four minute, right between your eyes, kind of the way I'm talking right now, only more pointed. And, and it's, it takes on specific issues each time you, you get all 203 in one, but they're all over the internet. People grab them and put them on their sites. And I'm okay with that. It's just that sometimes you want it all in one place so you can zip through it and see what you like. And of course, there's all kinds of other bonus materials in there. But I wanted to point out there's one 103 page PDF on that gives you 92 ways to journal in case you're not journaling. Um, some of our current members ask them how they journal. And we've got so many different ways of journaling that were good. I just put them all in one, uh, one feature for you. So uh, here's, a, here's what a core module looks like. Um, I mentioned the subconscious training right here. This is where each one of the core modules has a subconscious training. Okay, so uh, you're going to do that here. This one is the strength to pull the trigger. Uh, here's a core module. This is into, this is the core module too. And, and there's other things in here that kind of uh, tease you for other parts of the training. Uh, here's a book that I wrote. This is the one that's on. So you get the digital version here of my book. It's the one that's still on um, on Amazon. Um, I interview top traders about how they handle their mental and emotional. 
Uh, I do forums and so on. So anything I do, and I keep adding to this, but the most important part of these core modules, each one concentrates pretty much on one thing. This is overcoming fear and greed. So you've got different, different modules uh, and, and they, you saw the strength to pull the trigger and you saw overcoming thoughts of fear and greed. There's also core modules on, again, these are subconscious meditations that build those neural pathways to make that neural net so that you get out of your own way when you trade. Trading to make money mindset, got to trade, run your trading as a business. Strength to take your losses. Exercising patience. Coping with losses. Again, it's different. Coping with losses is different than the strength to take your losses, okay? You, once you take your losses, you have to cope with the fact that you took the loss, and that's a separate issue, okay? The letting go of negative thoughts. Sometimes, you know, if you don't control some of these things, they result in negative thoughts. A trader has to be positive, has to have a positive expectation. Sustaining discipline, okay? Um, and visualizing success. I'm a really believe, big believer in, in, in understanding that what you believe in today, you go forward with. Here is um, just to give you an idea of the four minute drills. I mean, these are the these are some of the last ones I did 203, 202, 201. Don't let planning get in the way of trading. Some people just plan it and they never start trading. You'll really learn when you start to actually trade. I'm, I'm a big believer in demo accounts, but I'm also a believer that all they do is help you understand how to buy and sell, how to put the order in and, and uh, in, the, in the proper way until you put skin in the game. If you use micro contracts for that, you're really not going to have uh, any kind of learning process. So um, what am, am I doing more harm than good? Uh, acres of diamonds, I, I, if you've ever heard that, your answers are right in front of you. I give it to you right between the eyes. Anyway, these are the, there's 200 of these four minute drills if you feel you need motivation. And I just talked to you about the other lifestyle section you can see all these crazy and great things to students uh this this one is popular because um you know this is this is g-rated stuff and you can have if you have a student that has that has poor memory improve memory with this subconscious training with these meditations also relaxed test taking that's the one we get a lot of possible uh, you know feedback on that's really working for their kids um so you get here's the custom eft trainings that i talked about um that um that separate the thought from emotion um, there, you can see they're the same topics as, uh, as what we're talking about. So look, here's the, um, 15 minute sessions. Here, here's the program. Here's what I'm offering you. Unlimited 15 minute coaching sessions for one year. And I gave it a value of 12, I figure a thousand dollars a month, unlimited coaching bonuses. Um, the, the discipline trader mastery program. We know that that, we know that that's worth, okay. Custom EFT sessions. I put a value of a couple of hundred dollars on each one. It's worth more than that. If it solves your problem, it's worth it's it's worth thousands and thousands per. Uh, it's very hard to quantify, but I think this is a pretty low value for for the value that you get. Uh, $1,986, 13986 dollars, and and that is not what I'm going to offer it for you. Nineteen ninety seven is is the price that it's the price of investment. I mean, you got to ask yourself what is what am I willing to invest myself in myself to make it happen? I've invested in a bunch of different trading plans and so on. What good has it done me? I keep moving from trading plan to trading plan. The industry is set up for you to do that. You need to pay attention to what's between the ears. You probably own something right now that will that will make money for you. But that's that's not good enough for, for me. And it's not good enough for David. It's not good enough for Anka or, or, or maybe even you. For this crowd, I, and again, I think I have... Three, I'm, I'm going to probably stop it at four, but um, not 1997, 997, okay? And this is the link that you go to, thedisciplinetrader.com forward slash laser, okay? Thedisciplinetrader.com forward slash laser. I'm going to let this sit, and I'm going to officially end this right here. I'm not even going to give you the testimonials that follow this, because there is just some, one of the one other thing that I've, I've been working on lately that I want you to know about, but, but, and it has nothing to do with any of this, but I thought to myself, I really just should tell people about this, but this is the most important thing. Okay. The disciplinetrader.com forward slash laser. Take advantage of this. This won't be offered again. Okay. 990 until next year. And it won't be 997. Okay. The uh, unlimited trading, unlimited coaching for a year. Okay. And uh, this is where you'll be taken to. Uh, that'll summarize it for you and you can pay through PayPal and so on. Again, you have that guarantee. Um, and the, the, here, here are some of the testimonials. 
Um, and it, you know, normally Tish have the tools, experience. They all say good. I wouldn't pick a testimonial that didn't say great things about us. Um, again, you here is the slide that let's get through this. You know what we're offering, and again, the um, you know what the cape. You know what the um, this is the guarantee. The first thirty minutes, but I want to just want to show you uh, what this one thing before we start again. I'm going to give you the link one more time because it's a long link. I'm going to make you spell discipline the disciplined trader forward slash laser. If you're into trading the, on news, you're into, you're into risk and you're likely into IPOs. The problem with IPOs is that you can't get them. I worked for Payne Weber and only the biggest accounts, they would, they would give IPOs. And, you, and those that, that were allowed to get involved in IPOs, in other words, buying shares before they come out in the market, the, 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 um, you had to sign up for the next 10, no matter what they were. So I, I found something, and I've been looking for something in the crypto market. It's called crypto swaps, okay? I've, I've been looking for three months. I found a guy that's into crypto. And I, I'm bringing this to you because if you're into swap, um, if you're into um, uh, I, if you're into trading against news, you're into that volatility. Um, there's something like IPOs in the in the crypto market, and it's not crypto coins. It's it's based on blockchain. But this person, at the end of this, he makes a 60 minute presentation, and he will he will make you understand the basics of crypto and blockchain in that 60 minutes. In fact, he does it in a 60 second period. He's an amazing guy. He's a great educator, whether you buy this stuff at the end or not, and take advantage of what he's talking about. And I think you should consider that. I want you to spend the 60 minutes with this guy and learn about crypto. This is the future of, of, of trading. This is the future of investing. I've been doing this for decades. Crypto is here. And, and I, think, I think you need to understand it. I just wanted to give you this link. So the disciplinetrader.com forward slash crypto. Sorry, I got off topic there, David, but I, I'm, I'm very excited about this. Um, and of course, you know what we do with, with the mental and emotional capabilities of traders at thisonetrader.com forward slash laser. You got to take advantage of that. Uh, but also you want to start learning about uh, blockchain and what that's going to have to offer. Okay, I'm done, David. And I want to thank everybody for, for being here.